In interest and confusion, she observed the enigmatic light. She realized something suddenly. When she saw what she was seeing, her heart raced. Nervously, she summoned her spouse. He ran in and was shocked. His laptop search began. He was searching for concealed cameras. After realizing he was in over his head, he called the cops. Sarah Bose cleaned her daughter's room since she knew she would appreciate it when she got home. However, she discovered something unbelievable. She hadn't been in this room for years. Her daughter Jessica was missing for seven months. Without leads, everyone was devastated when she disappeared. Sarah loved her daughter most. Jessica was a child and would do anything to get her back. She was everything to Sarah and Joe. Jessica, 18, was a good kid with loyal friends and good grades. She still got into trouble. She fought her mother occasionally. After Jessica and Sarah fought, the police assumed she ran away. Sarah disbelieved. Teens fight with their parents often, but that doesn't mean they have a bad home life. Police disagreed. Jessica's room was normal except for her messiness. They assumed she left because her phone bag was gone. To be sure, they photographed her room before moving anything. Searching the room yielded nothing. They were unaware of their error. They had to cancel their search parties after searching everywhere. Her husband had given up, but Sarah wasn't. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. Sarah needed to work harder to show the police that her daughter didn't run away. Despite their occasional fights, she would never have considered leaving home. Sarah barely managed to enter her daughter's room. She saw the police's search damage. The police searched every corner, destroying her room. She wanted to clean it before her daughter arrived. She put everything back and went to the bathroom, crying. She was unaware of her discovery. She imagined her daughter brushing her hair and teeth in the mirror every day. She smiled remembering how long her daughter took in the bathroom straightening her hair. She kept cleaning, but then she found something that would change her life. A red blinking light caught her eye as she cleaned the bathroom. Something inside the mirror handle made her scream for her husband. She realized what the strange light was after narrowing her eyes. As she called her husband, her heart raced. Sarah accidentally found a recording camera. Why was this in her daughter's bathroom? Did she? It was too concealed. Sarah showed her husband her camera. He arrived to her nervous calls from upstairs. He didn't know what they'd found. Why? Joe asked Sarah. Look, Sarah said, showing him the small device. Sarah recounted her discovery. Listening accelerated his heartbeat. He raged. He took a picture of it with his phone and ran to his laptop. He wanted to know the camera type. He wanted every detail. He had no idea the truth would make things worse. He raged. Someone planted this. He researched everything about it and how to find its connected device. His hours of research paid off. Tracking the device required professional assistance. They called the police, who were hesitant to accept the new, mysterious evidence. After Sarah showed the pictures, they came to investigate. The FBI received the small device. Sarah needed this new evidence to convince the police that her daughter's disappearance was more than it seemed. There was. Sarah and Joe only had to wait for police response. They tried to stay busy but failed. They thought they found a big clue to their daughter's location. They waited anxiously for the investigation results. The officer's findings shocked them. The police informed the Bose that the camera was linked to a device a few houses down their street. It led to her friend Matt's house. Jessica's schoolmate Matt was her friend. He often visited Jessica at home. His parents said he loved her. They were unaware. The officer informed Sarah and Joe of the update and said the police would be at the house soon. He advised them to await their reply. They ignored. Sarah and her husband ran down the street despite the warning to wait for the police to approach the house. They needed answers immediately. 
They should have waited for police. Joe knocked on the Bo's front door as they ran down the street. They waited for an explanation, gasping. But more awaited them. Unanswered. They checked every window. Nobody was home. Joe wanted in. Before he could damage anything, sirens arrived. Before Joe could throw a rock through the window, the police broke in through the front door. They made Sarah and Joe wait outside while they raided the house. Sarah and Joe anxiously awaited the officer's findings outside again. They couldn't take any more. They wanted their daughter back soon. Each officer entered the suspicious house. Nobody knew what they would find. They didn't know if they were entering another dead end or the dragon's den. They were ready. Soon, muffled screams led the officers to a locked room upstairs. They approached cautiously. They demanded entry, armed. The door handle shuffled but wouldn't open. Police discovered the door was locked. They burst through the door. The discovery left them speechless. They stared at the other person. Jessica, happy to be found, was crying. The police were surprised that she had been here all along and looked fine. However, she was clearly held against her will. Jessica ran outside to hug her parents after the officers told her. Tearful reunion. Jessica disclosed all. She was furious when she found the hidden camera in her bathroom and confronted her friend. He panicked at her police threat. He locked her in his in-suit room for seven months to avoid a record. Jessica was spared. She had food and a TV, but her phone was taken. She tearfully apologized to her parents. Sarah thought she was in a twisted movie. Only books and Netflix documentaries covered this. She was overjoyed to have her daughter back. She still had questions. How did police miss the bathroom camera? How did her friend's parents miss their son hiding their daughter in their house? She needed answers now. The device controlled the camera. Since he had it turned off, the police never noticed the red light turning on when it was recording. Mark's parents moved out a year ago to another state, leaving him the house to himself. Luckily, Sarah was there when Mark turned the camera back on. Mark! Mark left through the back door when Joe and Sarah knocked. Police found him quickly. His detained awaiting trial. Understandably, Jessica and her parents charged him for his unlawful detention and criminal acts. Mark's behavior was creepy, but it's not uncommon. Everyone remembers their first teen crush. Teenage dating is exciting and important for social development. A recent survey found that 48% of early romantic relationships turn unhealthy. This research was shocking. 48% of 12-18-year-olds who dated in the past year reported dating-related harassment and stalking. Teens who dated were asked if a partner ever followed, spied on, hacked their social media accounts, or damaged something. The shocking thing is that almost half of them had experienced one or more of these unhealthy behaviors, and 43% admitted to doing them to their romantic partners. Mark's innocent crush on Jessica turned into spying and then serious crime. His behavior invaded Jessica's privacy, made her fear for her life, and predicted his future relationships. His judge should take kidnapping seriously. How can parents protect their kids? Teens who experience dating-related harassment and stalking may develop depression, anxiety, and more serious forms of abuse. Teens may not know how to handle a romantic partner's frightening and overwhelming attention and behavior. Teens with little dating experience may not realize they are being mistreated and may have trouble identifying unhealthy behavior. Parents should appreciate that the dating experience is a healthy part of adolescence, but they should pay attention to what's going on. Parents should advise teens with unhealthy relationships. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.